Good day, happy teaching. This is Ray Roberts and I wanna share with you another teaching tip, another teaching strategy. Yesterday, I uh, conducted several interviews at an international school and a question was posed, a hypothetical question was posed to candidates. The question was, you have a student who is off task. He's talking in class. The, the rest of the class is on task. They're doing what is required, uh, required of them by the teacher. What, does the, how, what is the most effective way to address the this, this student who is off task, talking in class? And many of the candidates, um, they gave different variations of pretty much the same type of solution, which was you take the student and you make the student the class leader and or you give the student some type of responsibility. Uh, you allow the student to stand with the teacher and help the teacher um, to get him back on task. Now, in certain, some scenarios, some situation, this may be uh, appropriate. However, most of the time it's not the most ideal way to respond to that type of situation. Um, I'm going to give you the better ideal way to respond to that situation. When you have a student who's off task, the best thing to do for that student is, and for the classroom, and for your sanity, is to reward the students who are on task. So you have Monsoor, who is off task, talking in class, being, being inappropriate, not being on task. You turn to the students and you identify students in the classroom who are on task. And you simply say, thank you, Ahmed, for being on task today. Thank you, Ahmed, for doing your classwork. Thank you, Ahmed, for not talking in class. Khalid, thank you. Thank you, Khalid, for not talking in class and doing your assignment. I appreciate you for uh, being on task and doing what you're supposed to do. I'm gonna give you a star for the, today. And this will be a part of you implementing your behavior modification program in your classroom. I'll talk a little bit about behavior modification on another video uh, because as I wanna make this video pretty short. Um, so, just to recap, when you have a student who's on task, the best way to address that student is to, uh, uh, is to recognize and reward students who are on task, okay? Because in essence, you do not want to uh, reward a student for his negative behavior. And by rewarding that student by making him the class leader, by allowing him to stay with you, by giving him additional responsibility, you're sending the message to him that it is okay to be inappropriate, it's okay to be off task, and you're sending that same message to the rest of the class. And what will happen is the rest, the rest of the class will also, uh, 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 when they need attention, they will get off task. They will become a behavior issue because you have already sent that message to them that the way to get your positive attention is by being negative themselves. So this is the reason why rewarding a student who is off task uh, is, is not the most ideal uh, situations. So again, when we have a student who is off task, we want to reward students who are on task, and we want to do that by implementing our behavior modification program. That you, that you establish right in the first week of school with your students. Thank you. This has been another teaching tip brought to you by Ray Roberts, the Academic Partnership, and APIA. APIA is the Association for Professional Education Educators Abroad. For APIA membership, please send us an email at Raynor Roberts, that's R A Y N O R. R O B E R T S at calltoenglish.com. Have a great day. Have a great life. We'll see you next time.